Hey Chloe, it's Paul. I'm just going to show you how I would, if I were you, maybe use something like Trello to um, track student progress and if you've got a team, um, you can assign people different roles and stuff and it's free to use, it's awesome Trello. So uh, I've, I've jumped past the sign up, I obviously use it. Uh, I'm going to create a board, and just put, I'll call it student progress, right? Um... Uh, you're going to keep it private just between your team if you want to color background you can set a color so all it is is a list of um what used to be tea cards on a wall it used to be a, a sheet you know it's called kanban or something now but it's basically uh, a to-do list kind of thing that that you take somebody from left to right so let me just so let me just show you what i'm on about so you might put student sign up or maybe interested maybe you put student interested you probably wouldn't because you'd already have them at this point student sign up uh lesson one lesson two lesson three so on right um completed <clears throat> um sign off certificate uh, certificate not the world's greatest speller sign off right so then you put like <clears throat> what you do is you know you do Paul Nicholson and in that card you can put in uh, Paul Nicholson Doncaster Happy Me Limited um, save that's the description of that card but then you can put Paul interested in joining needs follow up something like that and then you can drag that person across so now your job is to get this student obviously from here to to signed off right so then you just drag it across and drop it right student signed up somebody comes in and put poll signed and paid your accounts department could do that move it across you could do lesson one add a an attachment um, I ain't got anything that I think I can share easily, but you could add documents, you could add whatever you need, you can create a checklist, you know, add um, uh, student information. Ah, um, I don't know. Um, what would you do? I'm trying to think. Uh, Credit card details, um, free, oh God, requisite, I'm going to spell that wrong, surely, uh, prerequisite, um, completed, previous student or something, whatever your pre-enrollment checklock box could be, you would, you would basically go through it and then what you get on a card then is is not a four is checked off so you click on it and you can tag yep that's done someone can tag that's done that's done and then you move it across and obviously <clears throat> next one john smith uh, you know lee evans i don't know why i thought of that and you go through it and then you're just dragging them across right but the real beauty of trello is being able to add team members so then you can Come over here. I haven't been in it for a while. Well, I don't obviously have a team, so. Um, da -da, where is it? Copy close board. No settings. Change team. No commenting. Add or remove permission. Admins. Oh man, I can't remember where you. It never used to be that hard. Stickers. Activity. Oh, here we go. Uh, oh no, that's not it. Create a team. So you would have a team. You'd add it to your team in there. I've got a full training video on how to set it up, but uh, I may need to re revisit it. Um, you used to just add a member. Let me pause while I find out how to do it. Okay, so uh, what you do is uh, I've just been there. Create a team, right? Uh, settings, change team. So it was on personal before. It was like this. <coughs> So I click on change team, lose my voice, create a team, and then it might be uh, teachers or whatever you call yourselves, teachers, right? You know, 
product delivery, or whatever, and it'll jump back and say, uh, "This is your team," and then you'd go in and, and add, you know, uh, Sarah at uh, paulnicholson.com. I'm going to get loads of emails after this now. And that sends an invite. Um, Dave at paulnicholson.com. That sends an invite to him. Uh oh, we couldn't add team members. These people are already in the team. <coughs> I've used Sarah before. Invite team member. Oh, maybe it is Sarah Sales that came up, didn't it? Sarah. She was already there, right? Um, Sarah at. Oh, come on. It's Monday morning. Sarah Sales. So I've already used, I've already used her before. So I'm gonna add. I did. Add many people. Come on. Something wrong with my Chrome actually. Yes, so it added it. This my, my Chrome's doing something funky. So now I've got two people. I've probably got an email right um, from Trello. That's an email from you, look. Um, uh, hey there, Paul. Invited you. So that person would click on that to to join the team. But when you go back to the board, now I can. I should be able to see over here. Uh, da -da. Oh, here's member ad. Look, invite to board. Oh man. I was on, I'm pretty sure I wasn't there before. So I'm going to invite Sarah and I'm going to invite Dave. I don't think that was there before. Send invite. And that drags their name up here. It used to be over here. Um, so now when I've got um, something on, let's say Lee Evans, uh, uh, make a call, Lee, uh, thinking of dropping out. And then if, say, Sarah Sales up here was uh, in charge of of doing that sort of thing. You can drop that name on that board, and she would get an email saying you've been assigned a board or you've been signed a card to do something. So Sarah would come in, uh, and if she was logged in, would say, "Yeah, made the call." Oh, good. Or he's left, or whatever he's done. Right. See. So, so you can see that you can then label, you can use different labels for things. You can call green something, orange something. You can say this is, um, I don't know what training you are, I can't remember off of it, like HR. This could be uh, food safety training. So you could do more than one course on one, <coughs> on, on one uh, board. You could say anything in red is a is a food safety lesson anything in greens hr or whatever you're teaching uh, and again first you're just drag, dragging it across and then when you get off to signed off you can add uh, or archive it so you're basically looking to say sign off the last person so basically you could say that dave was the guy that signed off open the card up dave would log in and say um all completed uh, certificate certificate issued and then he could attach the uh, he could attach the certificate as well here you could just go and computer uh, you can add a picture look um, and add add the certificate that's quite a big picture looking at that come on And you would, uh, you'd be able to do that, and then at the end you basically archive it, and that drops that person off. So what you're doing is getting them from left to right. You can assign people. You can also build your training out on here as well. You could, you know, create a board for the project manager. You know, you could create a new board that's, um, you know, create a board. Um, because you obviously do it on location, location setup or something, you know. You wouldn't call it that, but you call it something better. And this would be um, ideas to do. Or, um, um, yeah, to do. To? To do. Started. Um, on hold. Completed. So then this would be, you know, book the room, uh, get a, is it a projector or a projector? It must be projector. I knew I'd spell that wrong. Project. <clears throat> um, book. Teacher. 
um, stuff like that. You'll see what I mean. And you, then you can, <coughs> and you can go here and add a checklist pricing. Um, what else? You can put a due date. You need to, you need to book that room by Saturday. Um, again, you can label it and stuff. But then you, over there, you can filter to show me if I go back to um, something that add more. You can go to filters and show me, you know, HR cards. Just show me HR. Nobody. Food safety. Nobody. Let's get rid of that. Show me everything that Sarah's got to do. Uh, one card. Or everything. There's obviously nothing assigned. So let's just unfilter it and drop some people in. And Dave here. So if you actually went, show me Dave's cards. Or Dave would say, show me my cards. Sarah's cards. What's she got to do? So if you want to monitor what people are up to or what they've got on the plate, you can just filter down to them. So I think it's a cool way. Um, you can do it in Zoho. You won't be able to do it in Zoho free version. Um, you could do something like this. But I think for, for you using a spreadsheet and then doing something like this, with it being free... Uh, an instant and it's really easy for everybody to use you can sync it with Zoho later there'll be some Zoho integration that you can uh, you can sync but just to get your project managing your lessons I would I would definitely do something like this all right hope it helped cheers